everyone. Today the bookworms are going to be reading It's a Seashell Day. Written by Diane O'Kiltry. Pictures by Elliot Kriloff. Let's get into the book. When the sun peeks up over the bay, Mommy tells me it's a seashell day. I rush down the path over the dune. Salty breeze blows. We'll be there soon. We reach the beach. Herring gulls flock. Is this a seashell? No, it's a rock. With pail and shovel in my hand, my toes squish in cool, wet sand. A wave rolls in. It's way too big. Go away, wave, so I can dig. Bumpy, lumpy shells out from the muck. Spiny, shiny shells, a penny for luck. My shell is tiny, a silvery pearl. Mommy's is brown with a big twirly curl. This shell is a home. Mommy tells me, let's put it back to live in the sea. This shell has a secret. Hold it up to your ear. Listen, says Mommy. What do you hear? I hear the ocean. I count shells. One, two, three, four. Each one is different. I have many more. I count other shells. Five, six, seven, eight. My shells are curvy, never straight. Two more shells. Numbers nine, then ten. When we get home, let's count them again. We're almost home. It's been a fun day. So many shells. I'll make a display. One, two, three, four. I pretend a seashell store. Five, six, seven, eight. All my shells look really great. Nine and ten, both from the sea. I brought the beach home with me. Mollusks are animals with soft bodies that wear their skeletons on the outside seashells. There are more than one hundred thousand species of mollusks worldwide. Every empty seashell on the beach was once a part of an animal from the mollusk family. About half of all mollusks live in the ocean. Seashells are mostly made of calcium. So are our bones. A seashell wraps around a mollusk's body like a suit of armor. It protects the sea creature living inside from the predators and strong ocean currents under the sea. The best time to find seashells on the beach is in the morning or even at low tide. Hermit crabs crawl into empty seashells and call them home. As hermit crabs grow bigger, they have to find larger and larger seashells. Scallops have dozens of eyes to help them see predators coming from any direction. Many clams breathe through a kind of snorkel, a body part called a siphon, when they bury themselves in the sand. Seashells can be as small as a grain of rice or as big as four feet across. Shells have been used throughout history for art, jewelry, money, tools, containers, and buttons. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!